Back again for the last program in our series for clothes for the handicapped. And here again is Opal Roberson, who is our Extension Textiles and Clothing Specialist here at Iowa State University. Opal, it's been a lot of fun. We've already gotten many requests on some of the information that we've made available to the handicapped, and uh, we hope that we'll be able to help them even more today. Well, I think it has certainly been a satisfaction to be able to work with these people. And I, I feel like uh, always they are part of our audience right here. And I think the first they helped with this because they were all so considerate and kind to us and thanked us for everything we did when really I didn't think I was doing very much. So I feel like we're going to have some extra special friends out in the state. Well, you know, we have talked about women in the programs before, and we haven't really meant to leave the men out of it because they too are an important part of our program. So let's see Darwin Erickson, who is wearing a Brooks Brother gray flannel suit that is designed specifically for a handicapped man. And this uh, suit actually has some features that we've talked about and shown you, I believe, in clothes for the boys. But it is uh, especially nice to have a man here at full height so you can see how these clothes operate. First of all, while his clothes are all intact there before he goes to showing you the different features, uh, you will notice the jacket is a little shorter than the, a man's dress suit jacket. Uh, this is made on purpose, of course, because uh, more fabric around the waistline would be difficult to operate those zippers and the uh, belt hook and bar. Uh, also, there are a little uh, more fabric, sometimes too much, in getting in and out of chairs and cars in case he's driving a car. Uh, so that he's going to show you now how these, this side seam opens with this zipper all the way down uh, to uh, past the hip line. It is the hip line that is important because that's where the fullest part of the body is here. On both sides, uh, this zipper opens and also fastens very securely at the top. The security of a zipper fastening is most important, of course, uh, in, in this garment. Uh, I believe also that those uh, trousers open from the bottom uh, up so that if, if a man is wearing ankle braces or something like this, uh, he would have the full spread of that trouser leg opened uh, and then, of course, it is not any more difficult for him to close that than it was the one at the top uh, that you noticed. He's going to show us now that this also has a vest. And this seems quite important to men to finish their outfits as we wear blouses with ours, practically. Uh, it, it just puts him in a class of being a well-dressed man to go to work or to take his wife out at night, shall we say. Uh, You'll also notice that he's wearing a four-in-hand tie, and we're going to show you a little bit more about ties over here. Uh, the belt uh, of this, belt waistline of his trousers, there he goes pulling that pressure tape open again, you see. This is easy for him to do, and I think it'll also e be easy for him to get it back into place. Sometimes the men, when they're working in offices, uh, like to undo that top button anyway, just to get a breath of air once in a while. This is an easy way to close it. I think you'll notice that he did it with one hand. Yes, and that's uh, very handy, I think, <coughs> because it's difficult for many of us to tighten that uh, tiny button around our throat, and uh, if we have a strip of Velcro there, we can do it very easily. You notice that his tie was the clip-on type, which of course makes it very easy for a handicapped person to manipulate instead of having to tie the tie, just using these that have been on the market for many years, I think show you how the manufacturers have made advancements to help us in the ease of dressing. We mentioned Velcro. Let's just very briefly tell them. May I suggest that the brand name of this is Velcro. Uh, the real name is Pressure Tape, simply because there's more than one company that puts this uh, tape out. Uh, and you may get it in a, in a def different brand name in your community. This we brought just to show you that it comes like this, and you can buy whatever length you want to at the stores that handle it. Those who do not handle it most likely would if you would request it. You can buy it like you do elastic or ribbon, let's say. And as far as I know, it comes in this width. We've never found it here in Ames in any other width than this. But this is what you've been seeing now all week on these different garments to make the closures. It's a very simple uh, process of just stitching around the edge to, to get this in the plackets and seam lines of your garments. 
Now, although it does come in this width, it can be cut off in tiny pieces and, uh, and used. And put under buttons, let's say, or under buttonholes uh, so that the garment will appear like all the other garments, particularly in something as standard as a, man, as a man's or boy's shirt. I'd like to say a word about the designer of the undergarments that we're going to be seeing. Uh, Van Davis O'Dell was struck by a stroke herself, and she realized how difficult it was for her to get into undergarments. Having been a dress designer, she was particularly interested in this, and so she has designed undergarments that are easier, anyway, for the handicapped person, woman, to put on. And I'd like to show you some of the uh, methods that we use for getting into ease of these garments. I'd also like to um, impress you with the fact that these garments are important to people. Uh, first of all, uh, we need these for protection of our other garments but also to help keep our body in shape. Uh, as clothes in this country are mass produced, and that's the reason you and I can have so many at the prices we have, uh, you'll find also in women's and girls' garments, uh, bust darts. Well, uh, in order to fit into these garments then that are made, or adaptation from patterns that are made, uh, we need this bust fullness in the right place. And the bras here help to uh, give us that kind of a figure. Well, this one is made with hooks up and down the front of this brassiere, as you see. Uh, this could be a little delicate for people who have finger trouble, so we'll show you some others. For those who do, uh, do not, who might not be able to reach, for instance, around to the back of the bra and get it in shape, this would be quite adequate for this kind of a closure. Uh, this garment would not be uh, hard to launder. It could go right through the washing machine. Those hooks and eyes will will stand that sort of thing. Now let's take a look at the back. Women are often bothered unless this garment fits very especially to this, the particular figure that's wearing it, of these straps dropping off the shoulder line. This crosswise piece of elastic here gives, you see, with body movement and would also help to keep these straps in place. Uh, I think this is as, as important in this garment as the front closure is important. Now here's another way of getting uh, the straps in place uh, and this uh, is a little different here as it fastens with velcro or pressure tape on each side now uh, in order not to lose all these straps as we uh, would find it difficult to reach around the back and get those you can just expand the uh, line here by putting uh, and but still holding it in place by releasing this and giving you more width to get into this and if there's no difficulty with the arms, this could be slipped on over the head. Uh, or you could keep one of these loosened and have some control of this garment while you kept the other one fastened. It crosses in the back with uh, two pieces of uh, soft elastic and then fastens in the front. I'd also like for you to notice that these straps are stretchable. This uh, seems to be uh, the coming feature is already here in our foundation garments. It is not a strong stretch, it just uh, moves with the body, let's say. This also would help to keep the garment in place. Not only the straps, but the garment itself. <coughs> I wanted to uh, talk just a minute about a padded bra. Uh, for the reasons that I suggested to you a minute ago, the ready-made dresses are, bu are made with bust fullness, and so are all the patterns that we get. Now, patterns can be altered, but this particular alteration is not the easiest one that we make in our clothes, a bust alteration. And as a matter of fact, we've been studying uh, alteration of patterns here at the university, and we haven't come up with all the answers yet. But shall I also add that no other university has either. Uh, you might also be interested to know that we have a doctor from the engineering department working on pattern alteration with us. Uh, in the meantime, until we've worked out a, little more, a few more of the answers, uh, perhaps a padded bra would help some people. Not only that, but psychologically, I think that uh, uh, women feel better uh, when their proportions are as near right as we can make them. In some instances, this padded bra might just help in this direction. Now, let's show the girdle, because I think that this is almost a struggle for anyone to get on. Well, <laughs> sometimes it is. And you'll see in this garment, and this is a very uh, fine garment here. It's lightweight and thin, yet it has control of the figure. Uh, we don't like a bulk and thickness in these garments. In order to get in uh, to these garments with some handicaps, you see, this one is made to open through the legs here, up to just about the middle, uh, then, of our figure at this place. 
And then uh, the suggestions are made that uh, it might be easy for some women to uh, put on their holes and sit on the edge of the bed uh, while they unzip this zipper and stick their limbs down through here. Uh, and this, um, they will know then that when they're down into this zipper, they can zip them up and open this part so that their body will go into it to the waistline. Uh, I think uh, some women have said that they are really uh, can manipulate their bodies better, and this uh, depends, I think, on, on their handicap, uh, whether they uh, just lay flat on the bed and put their feet into this. I think it might be a trial either way the first time you put it on, but both of these zippers do open, you see, and it gives you the maximum amount of width here to get your limbs through and your feet through. Now, if we can get a look at the one-piece garment, which would even be more of a construction feature for us, it has a zip that uh, goes down through the bra, through the midriff area, and also it zips up the uh, legs. There's a Velcro closing so that uh, it would be easy for you to uh, put the garment on and then zip it up. And of course, you'd need the zipper so that uh, you would get the uh, firmness and the foundation to uh, remain stable. The zip up on the leg would make it a much easier garment to put on. Show us the slip with the zipper down the front opal. I think this is, uh, this is interesting quite, for anyone. Uh, it's quite a nice garment, and this is nylon. You know the strength of nylon. I think uh, to remind ourselves sometimes, we must remember that nylon goes in cord tires. Uh, so it is very strong. It has just terrific abrasion resistance. So that if you had a slip like this, I'm not sure it would ever wear out. Even the lace, though it looks delicate, is also nylon and equally as strong. So that unless you catch it in something, this, this slip will just last a lifetime. Now this does open down over the bust uh, and part way through the waistline so that this would give us an opportunity to get the most difficult part of the body in, into it. The zipper is lightweight but firm and very strong so that I don't think you'll feel that you have any difficulty in keeping this garment like it is now. Thank Besides, you it's beautiful. Thank you very much, Opal, and that's about all the time we have to talk about clothes for the handicap, but I hope that you've enjoyed our series. I particularly want to thank Opal Roberson, who is our Extension Specialist in Textiles and Clothing here at Iowa State University, for helping you to dress easier and feel just much better in your clothes. We'll see you tomorrow on Today's Homemaker.